So it says, what are the solutions to this equation? So I got to solve this. Now, I already know what the answer is going to be. It's going to be plus or minus 2. How do I know that? Well, what's the first step in this process? What have we done on the last two problems? We're basically solving for x and then putting all the other stuff on the other side. So what am I going to move away from my x? What do you guys want to move first? It's either the 7 or the negative 28. Wrong. We can move the 7, but it's, it's a little more complicated because 7 times x squared, to move the 7, I'd have to do the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division, but I got to divide by everything. So if I leave that to last, it's a little easier. So I'll let you in on a clue. We got to move the 28. How do I move the 28? What is the 28 doing to x squared? Well, yeah, but what is it doing right now as you look at it? It's being subtracted. So because it's being subtracted, we're going to do the opposite of subtract, which is to add. She said add, which she was saying what we need to do. Okay. So when I do that, I get 7x squared equals 28. Now, this problem is really rigged up when you think about it. Now, if I get rid of the 7, guess what happens? Now, because 7x squared means 7 times x squared, if I do the inverse, which is divide, whatever I do on one side, I got to do to the other. Now, 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times x squared is just x squared. But now I've got 28 divided by 7, which is a lot easier this way. So now, what's 28 divided by 7? 4. So now I have x squared. What undoes the square? What undoes a square? What's the inverse operation of squaring something? If I say 3 squared, that means 9. What takes me from 9 back to 3? So here I'm squaring. Well, it's the square root. A lot of kids get that confused because they don't because they both have the word square, but the one the one has root in it. Right? So squaring is multiplying a number by itself twice. Taking the square root is kind of like dividing by itself. It's it undoes the squaring. So when you square something or raise it to a power, taking the root of it undoes that exponential work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square root of both sides. I'm going to take the square root of this side, but then I'm going to take the square root of this side. But I have to remember that I have to do the plus or minus in front of it. The square, it's the same thing. If I take the square root of this and the square root of this, then I end up with just 3 equals 3, which is a true and valid statement. Here, when I square root a square, when I take the root of a square, they undo each other, and I'm left with x. But now I've got plus or minus whatever the square root of 4 is. What's the square root of 4? Does anybody in here know what the square root of 4 is? No. 2. We're going in the opposite direction. So now what are the solutions? x equals positive 2 or x equals negative 2. And that's it.